Today's video is just a super quick tip, one that I have my students do for most projects that they're working on, especially ones that involve multiple tracks and instruments, different autoplay patterns. Let's see what I'm talking about. This is the string quartet project I've been working on for the past couple of days. I've made a number of changes using different autoplay patterns, using certain finger taps, eliminating instruments. I want to show you how you can rename those instrument tracks just in case you want to reproduce it later on in your song. Simply tap on the track, hit rename, and here your keyboard pops up. If you remember, this was my intro and it was just the cello and the bass. Let's go to the next track we've recorded. Here we went with autoplay pattern three using a single finger tap. There's no set rule as to how you name these. I just ask my students to make sure it's something that they will remember. Our final track had a lot going on. It was our solo violin. And for this one, I used a two finger tap on autoplay pattern four. Again, any way you label it is fine as long as you remember exactly what it means. I think renaming these tracks is a great way to remember exactly what you've created, and I encourage my students to do this for all of their projects.